Welcome back, dear traders. Our analysts are ready to tell you about market developments in the US markets and share forecasts. The US stock market opened the week in a hesitant mood. The major stock indexes traded and closed mixed. Today, comments from Fed speakers and macroeconomic data could give a fresh impetus to the market. After sharp rally on Friday, his stock indexes were trading water on Monday. The Dow Jones closed yesterday with a 0.1% uptick. The Nasdaq dropped 1.2% and the S&P 500 shed 0.4% to close at 4,008 points. Today, Wall Street is again in ground in the pre-market. Stock indexes are trading higher with 1% or 2% gains. The information background is active today, so traders are braced for higher volatility tonight. The S&P 500 is expected to trade in the Canada between 4,000 and 4,110 points. Market sentiment is swinging from optimism to fear. Investors have not assessed the extent on the negatives and have not decided what is worse. Inflation, countermeasures, recession, global energy deficit or uncertainty. Goldman Sachs downgraded the target level for the S&P 500 to 4,300 by the year end for the third time this year. So the index might recover over 8% from the current level. 91% of companies included in the S&P 500 have reported their corporate earnings. Interestingly, 76% of companies surpassed expectations in their financial records by 8% on average. U.S. retailers were among the last to release their reports. Today, investors are focused on remarks from some Fed policymakers. Apart from Jerome Powell, traders are anticipating comments from Loretta Mesta, Patrick Harker and Charles Evans. Market participants will look for clues to further policy moves of the central bank. Meanwhile, the US dollar is losing ground for three days in a row across the boat. Its index dipped to 103.90 on Monday, and today it's extending its slide. The expected Canada for today is seen between 103.20 and 104.00. The greenback is retreating from the 10-year peak. Analysts link this slide to profit fixing by investors who downgraded their bets on their Fed's aggressive monetary tightening. The hawkish tone of the Dutch central bank's governor enabled the euro to climb above 1.05, and this price auction dispelled fears that the euro is approaching the parity level with the US dollar. The governor said that the ECB is poised to raise the key interest rate by 25 basis points in July and also is ready to consider a faster rate hike. Nevertheless, the firm US dollar is set to reign throughout 2022 because the US Fed is implementing a cycle of a monetary tightening. The healthy US economy is outpacing other advanced economies. Fresh economic data confirms the fact. Retail sales in the United States rose 0.9% in months at a slower pace than a 1.4% increase in March. The reading matches the consensus. The fresh reading looks the smallest growth in the last four months. Nevertheless, it proves that Americans tend to spend money despite high inflation. Retail sales expanded 8.2% on year. Besides, the core retail sales grew 0.6% from a month ago, much weaker than a 2.1% increase in March and higher than the forecast of a 0.4% rise. The USD card pair fell to a one-week low to trade at 1.2820. The current CPA is likely to trade in the Canada between 1.2740 and 1.2900 today. A decline in the greenback benefits the loonie. Today, the current CPA is trading quietly. Traders are uh, riveted to other currencies and comments from speakers of the central banks. The USD card is expected to enter the flat market. Today, the loonie receives support from oil prices. 
On Tuesday, oil prices hit the strongest level in seven weeks amid the EU anti-Russian rhetoric. The EU authorities are pushing ahead with the embargo on Russian crude. China is easing its COVID restrictions. Brand grade climbed to $115.50 a barrel, the highest level since March 28, and WTI appreciated to $114.98. The crypto market does not give up its attempts to regain momentum following a collapse in stable coins. Bitcoin settled above the level of $30,000, and today the digital token is growing by 2 or 3 percent. If Fed's policymakers do not deliver a message of a more hawkish agenda, the flagship crypto will try again to reach an upward target of $32,400. Alternatively, it, uh, if uh, traders discover worrisome signs of risky assets in the comments from Fed speakers, Bitcoin will weaken in response. Follow developments in financial markets on InstaForex TV channel. All trading instruments will be highly sensitive to the news. What conclusions and responses will Wall Street make? We will tell you in the next video. Trade at a profit with InstaForex and see you soon.